Hello and welcome to the first video in forever. I'm sorry about that, but there are many reasons for why and I'll get into that right now. The first reason being that I haven't had any editing software to use for my videos. Second thing is that I haven't really had any motivation to do anything and I've also just been lazy. <laughs> so that's basically the reasons. But finally, a solution. Yes, my MacBook Pro. <laughs> And to be honest, I'm very happy that I got it. I, I'm loving it in comparison to old friend. <laughs> so I thought I'd make like a first impressions slash review video about my experiences and how it's going so far. So before we like talk about what I love and what I hate, I need to talk to you about the specs and just general information about the Mac. So, excuse me for looking at the screen, but I need to to list the spec. It's running 1.4 GHz quad core Intel i5. It's got 8 GB. It's got 8 GB of RAM. And finally, Intel Iris Plus graphics, 645 graphics. So that's the graphics card. So, that's like the main internals, but it's also got 128 GB. Of storage SSD. The battery is said to last for about 10 hours of normal use, like right now where I'm just like looking at a Word document or I was about to say Google Chrome, but Google Chrome actually eats a lot of <laughs> battery. It has two Thunderbolt ports. I don't know if you can see it. I'll probably put some B-roll here. <laughs> I'm new to this whole idea. And a headphone jack, which is surprising considering Apple is very good at removing it. <laughs> so now that you know all of that, what do I think about it? Surprisingly enough, for me, it's like a super PC guy that loves good specs. The most important thing in this computer is not the graphics or the RAM or the storage. Also, the storage is garbage, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> what I'm most concerned about is stuff like the keyboard, the screen, and stuff that'll either make or break my experience with this computer. Also, it's a Mac, not really a computer. What's the definition of a computer anyways? Hi, this is Axel, editing the video. I watched this part again and I was like, what are you talking about? Specs are just as important as keyboards and whatnot. I'd just like to mention that I do still care about those things and they are still important in a machine like this, but I hope you get my point. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it in a pros and cons way. So we're gonna start with the pros and move on to the cons. I also want to make it very clear that I have not mentioned everything in pros and cons territory. There are many things that I will probably have forgotten to mention in this video, but if there are things that you think are bad or good about the MacBook Pro 2019 base model, which I, by the way, forgot to mention, then please let me know. And if you own this machine yourself, please let me know what you think about it. So let's start with the pros. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about is kind of a pro and a con. <laughs> I'm not good at this, okay. Um, the SSD. Yes, 128 gigabytes, that's nothing. In PC land, that's like this. I've always had a hard drive for my uh, computers, which has never gone well. They've always died. I mean, saying that I've only had one hard drive die, but I'm almost at my second one of dying, I think. I I've had it for three years. So yeah, solid state drives, if you don't know, if you're not into computers, basically they're not spinning disks. So if I sit like this with my Mac, it won't break the storage, which is something that will happen with hard drives. If you wanna know the details of that, go look at another YouTube video. I'm not here to explain that right now. Also my hair, Jesus Christ. Second thing is something that I know a lot of people don't really care about, but I think it's personally kind of cool, which is the touch bar. The touch bar is, I would say a half step of getting us to touch screens on that. And I've had times where I'm using the touch bar, like, Doo -doo 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 -doo, and then I almost touch the screen because I'm like, oh, I'm so into the fucking touch stuff. Please, Apple, just get us to the touch screen. I would really enjoy that. It's nice. Like, if you want to just slide volume up and down, it's really easy. To make a long story short, the touch bar enables you to kind of get more into the nitty gritty with your stuff. And I'm also just going to put touch ID on the same, like, point because it is in the touch bar. Just being able to go over to your Mac and just... 
He's really nice. We're on the subject of unlocking your Mac. There's also this little guy, Apple Watch, which basically you can just literally do this and your Mac unlocks, which is really nice. And it lets you get into what you're doing even faster. Now, I know that not everybody has Apple Watches, but for those that do, it's really nice being able to just and one thing that I don't see a lot of people talking about is the security of, you know, unlocking with Apple Watch. If you take your Apple Watch off like that. Okay, I'm so sorry, but when I took off my Apple Watch, the recording stopped. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it's because of the photo thing. Right, back to the, what we were talking about. If you take off your Apple Watch, I don't know if you can see it, but it locks. So when that happens, that basically means that when this is not detecting a pulse from its sensor here on the back, you can't do the thing. So that basically means that unless they're like some super human that knows how to swap Apple Watches really quickly without them locking, that basically means that you're gonna be safe from being manipulated by this. Although, I'm not gonna put you back on because the, the recording's probably gonna stop again. <laughs> so, you're just gonna lay down there for the rest of the video. D -d -d -dare. In my opinion, it's almighty and great. It's made out of glass, which is something that I've never seen in a laptop screen before, which saying that I've only owned two laptops before this, so. So basically the glass, it just feels more professional and I don't feel like I'm running around with a cheap piece of plastic. The colors, they look great and are supposedly quite color accurate. And according to laptopmag.com, uh, the MacBook Pro screen can get up to 408 nits, which is pretty good in my opinion. Now, again, if you don't know what nits are and what that means, there's probably a YouTube video about that. And I would say, you know, trying it right now with like a white screen, the display is really bright. Like it's almost at the point of like eye strain. I mean, that's good. Having a lot of color and brightness is positive. The speakers are amazing. You know, I say that, but I should actually test it live for you. I just want to tell you before I start the video, this is being recorded by an iPhone XS, you know, microphone. Uh, so, you know, take the audio with a bit of grain of salt, but it is incredible, and I will try my best to, you know, capture that in this video. I don't think I can play anymore, or else I'll probably get copy striked and my channel deleted. <laughs> they're good, and they're much better than probably any laptop speakers you've ever heard. They're amazing. Now, this one's kind of a little bit of a self-explanatory thing, but macOS. macOS is just such a good operating system. It's really easy to get into, like, from getting it out of the box. <laughs> and onto your desk. It just works, and that is great. Also, I'll put this down. I didn't notice the clutter. Let me, this video is a mess. I'm so sorry. Right, Mac OS. It is kind of confusing having to go to the other corner to close stuff, but you get it after like, I don't know, 10, ten minutes? It doesn't take a while. Now, I remember when I first got it, I always, always, had my tripod go a little bit over there on the screen before I just went that way when I was closing a window. There's just like quality of life stuff. Like iMessage on my Mac, I've used that so many times. Continuity, which basically means that I, where's my phone? I have actually no idea. Where is my phone? <laughs> oh. Uh, my phone's there. <laughs> I need to fucking get a life. <laughs> Continuity is a great one. Basically, let's say you're looking at Google Chrome on your phone and all of a sudden you get to your Mac or let's say you just want to look on it with your Mac. Then you basically just go on your Mac and in the corner it will just pop up with a little icon of an app and then a little phone. 
and then click on that and boom, you've got what you were looking at in your phone, which is pretty amazing. Also, I should have mentioned this after messages, but FaceTime on Mac is really useful and definitely like that a lot. Also, the free software is really nice. iMovie, GarageBand, and their free Office like suite is really cool. If you don't have the money for Office, then use Pages, Keynote, and Numbers. Great apps that work good enough. <laughs> and iMovie and GarageBand are really nice, I guess, free versions of Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro. iMovie is quite simple, but you can probably also find features in it that you would find in a professional video editing suite. And I would say it's much better than Windows Movie Maker and a lot better than the inbuilt video editor in Windows 10. Now, I don't have too much experience with the GarageBand, but I'm sure it's great. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that because I've literally been in it for like about a second and then I left. So, <laughs> there's two scary. To make a long story short, Mac OS is pretty much just tying everything in the ecosystem together. I would show my phone here, but my phone is there. <laughs> Performance. I know I said I didn't like care that much about it. Can this hair just like calm down? I know I said it. Performance is important for, you know, a computer. And I'll give you a good example of what my Mac can run. And keep in mind, again, this is the base model 2019 MacBook Pro. I can run Discord while talking to someone, Apple Music, you know, listening to music, and play Minecraft with about 12 to 13 chunks in render distance. And there's not a single fan noise. It sounds like this. Literally, the fan is as quiet as it is now. Not even moving. Now, when you open Google Chrome, that pushes it over the edge and it started going Wah. Still, that's really impressive. My old computer from like 2017 was nearly the same specs. Cannot do that. It literally starts the fan immediately as it turns on. So that's not possible for my old computer, which I applaud this one for being able to do. Also, it's really the... Oh, and I forgot to mention that while running all of those tasks, I do not experience any sort of lag in both Minecraft Apple Music or Discord. If I experience lag, then it's most likely because of the internet and not the internals. A lot of people call the Mac terrible for gaming, but you can get away with doing some lag gaming. Although I will be clear, using the trackpad and WASD keys, don't, no. <laughs> you can't really do that in anything, so yeah, get a mouse if you're gonna like a game. But games like Minecraft, Terraria, Games that aren't that performance heavy, you're gonna get away with on this. And that's pretty cool. Now, this next point is gonna be controversial for many, but I kind of like the butterfly keyboard. I know, I. it's very strange to say that, but it's not bad. And while mine hasn't shorted out yet, <laughs> I am actually enjoying it. I like the sound, you know, super nice. It feels nice. I don't really mind the travel, which is something that I find quite strange. I am a sucker for mechanical keyboards and I've always kind of hated on membrane of like keyboards, but this one I really like, but I'm gonna take that back once the keyboard breaks. <laughs> That's when I'm gonna take it back. The final thing, uh, I'm just gonna quickly just say this, the trackpad. It's amazing. It's about the size of an iPhone XS. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. It's really nice. And the force touch in it, it's really good. It's really good. So this video is already 10 hours long, but to prevent it from being any longer, I'm gonna stop with the pros. There's a lot of pros. MacBook Pro, <laughs> funny joke. <laughs> but now we need to get into the darkness. I'm not actually gonna film the video like that, but the darkness, the cons. I'm gonna start with the thing that I mentioned previously with the SSD. I like that it's an SSD, but I don't like the storage capacity. It could have been 256 base model and I would have been okay with it. But 128 gigabytes, that's kind of 
cheeky. Now I could go and get an external SSD, but they're really expensive. Not as expensive as the upgrade though. So I don't really know if it bothers me that much, but it's still annoying. No physical escape button. Basically, if you don't know, the escape button is in the touch bar, which is kind of annoying. And especially when, when you're in an app that is tailoring to the touch bar and you need to press the escape button for some reason. Like, I know a good example, FaceTime. You want to go into full screen mode. Well, so I just spat everywhere. You want to go into full screen mode. Let's say you want to get out. There's just an X and then it has like the call stuff. And then you press the X and then you can press the escape button. I think that's kind of dumb, but it's not the end of the world. One computer that has learned from this issue in Apple land is the MacBook Pro 16 inch. Here's one that I think a lot of people with the MacBook Pro 13 inch can agree with, really any Mac that has this thing. The camera, it's bad. As you can see, the camera is not good. <laughs> it is terrible and really grainy and disgusting. So I would not use this for, you know, really any video creation. Like you're probably gonna get away with it if it's like a conference call or something but not with like professional shiz. Also, I'm gonna end that before I see a face in the doorway. That was why I was looking away. <laughs> that was so scary. <laughs> it wouldn't have cost much to put a better camera in it. So I wish they could have just like thrown in a, a better camera. I guess next time? Although at least it's better than these things. Um. This is another one of those, I can live with it, but it's kind of annoying. While the machine looks really sexy without any ports, these don't, <laughs> which kind of ruins the entire reason of, you know, not having those ports. I get it, USB-C is the future, but calm down. You have three ports, and, and if you have the upgraded cool version, you have five. That's not a lot, and these things, are expensive as all daylights. Please just don't be so angry at the ports, Apple. But there is a solution, but I, uh, but I think that they should have done, like the touch bar, if the touch bars are like a half step to get us to touch screen, why couldn't they have done the same with this guy? Why, this is basically the ports I would desire. Two USBs, like we have now, USB-C, SD card, HDMI. And then the rest, I don't really know if I care. Maybe one traditional USB. That's not a lot. And of course, I love USB-C. I talked about this before. USB-C is the future, but we're not there yet. And I, and I want to be there. Uh, so like, I'm glad that this exists and I'm glad that they've done this, but not, the industry hasn't catched up yet, which is aggravating. But I guess you could say Apple needs to do something to get the industry to catch up. So now the last point is the most annoying thing about this entire machine. And that is the fan. It's so bad. I, I'm going to insert a video of the fan that I captured while I was doing some heavy duty stuff. It's bad. Now I'm glad that this isn't all the time, thank God. But um, when it is like that, it's really annoying. So either it's like this, or it's, which is not pleasant to your ears. And that's that nuance. The quietest sound ever. And the loudest sound that you will ever hear. I hate it. Doesn't happen often, but it happens. And that's the problem. They sound like jet engines, they're annoying and there's just, they burn in hell. <laughs> I don't really have much else to say now. And you're probably really bored now <laughs> because this video is really long. Now, again, I'm sure there's a million things I missed in this video. So please tell me what you love and what you hate. Keep in mind that I haven't really used it for more than about a week as of recording this. So I haven't really gotten into the experience. I'm kind of just like, testing it right now. <laughs>
And surprise, this video is actually edited on this computer. So, yay. If it looks like shit, then that's why. And even if there's some annoying cons, I'm still heavily biased for Apple products. Does that make sense? I think so. I mean, you'll expect me to be biased when I have an iPhone, Apple Watch, AirPods, Apple TV, this guy. I'm gonna be biased. And I would say that if you're enjoying iPhone slash iPad and you're looking for a computer, check this one out. I'd recommend going to a nearby electronic store and just typing on the keyboard, you know, moving around the trackpad and looking at it. I would definitely recommend just MacBooks in general to those people, not the MacBook Pro specifically. They're quite similar. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my review slash first impressions. I know that this video is probably a train wreck, but um, I tried my best. And I'm not sure when this video is uploading, but I'm probably gonna upload it in 2020. So first video of 2020, welcome. Also, you might be wondering, where, where am I? <laughs> You've never seen this background before. And what is this table in? Like, I'm not gonna explain that right now because this video is already way too long, but maybe in a different video. And tell me, do you like this set? Should I use it more? Tell me down below. So if you want to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up, or if you don't dislike it, subscribe over here and there will be two other Apple related videos over here. And I will see you in the next video, probably in four months. Although the probability of me making videos is going to be higher now because of that dude. Yay, bye.